everyone! Today, I'm going to show you some important mathematical concepts that are present particularly in nature. Okay, now mathematics is everywhere, although it is not obvious to every one of us here, but it is really present around us. It is part of our day-to-day -day living. Examples, numbers and patterns. Now, numbers and patterns play an important role in our day-to-day -day living. And these are used as tools for prediction, okay, and analysis to understand trends like in science, in technology, in economics, in politics, and in any other human activities. Now, today, I'm going to show you important concepts in mathematics that are present particularly in nature okay now we have what we call symmetry now, symmetry by definition is a correct or pleasing proportion of parts of anything or any object so in mathematics we have what we call a uh, type of symmetry first is the reflectional symmetry now, reflectional symmetry is a type of symmetry, okay, where the points of the object are equally uh, positioned about a line. An example of that is this one, okay? We take a uh, look at this one. Uh, these are guava leaves, okay? I got it uh, from there. Now, if you take a look at this leaf, we can say that there is a reflectional symmetry in this leaf. Okay? Why? Because um, reflectional symmetry is a symmetry where the points of the object or the figure are equally positioned about a line. So if you're going to consider this point, okay, this is equally positioned to this point about this line now this line is what we call the axis of symmetry now the axis of symmetry is a line that separates the object into two equal parts and it serves as the mirror okay of the half of the object so in this case the type of symmetry that is present here is reflectional symmetry another type of symmetry that is always that is also present in nature is translational symmetry okay uh, we still consider this uh, leaves of the gu guava okay now the translational symmetry or the object has or is translationally symmetric if it can be drawn in its entirety by taking a portion of the object and shifting it along the axis so for example if we consider this as the axis and we take this portion we shift this portion vertically so this portion assume that this is shifted vertically so this is transferred to this uh, part here meaning this is trans uh, translationally symmetric with this leaf okay so these are examples or the, the symmetry that is present in this guava leaf reflection symmetry or reflectional symmetry and translational symmetry okay so these are only parts of or these are only types of symmetry that is present here now for your assignment Okay, I want you to, I have flower, flower here. Now, I want you to identify for your assignment, I want you to identify what type of symmetry that is present in this flower. Although, the type of symmetry that is present in this flower is not yet discussed, but I want you to research and I want you to explore uh, what type of symmetry that is present in this flower. That is your assignment, okay? Now, the goal of this video is just to let you appreciate that mathematics is really beautiful 
and it, it's really essential. Mathematics is uh, very important in our day-to-day -day living. So, I want you to let you know that mathematics is already part of our lives. Okay, so hope you enjoy this video and hope you enjoy watching this video. And I'm also hoping that you learn something from this video. Thank you so much and bye!